Today, let me show you around my garden here in Slovakia. Last year, when the pandemic starts here in Slovakia, we also felt trapped in the city like everyone else. That's why we decided to put all our worries and just decide to buy a house and a land so that we can start making our own garden. It happened so fast. It felt like it was just yesterday. This house was like an abandoned house in the middle of a jungle. But we are full of excitement. The first thing that we did was took out some of the old and sick trees and try to trim and salvage the good ones. a little sad cutting all the old trees thinking about the years and the generations that it has seen but they were really old and sick and they need to go anyways later on we decided to put new trees in our garden initially we really want to have a garden without digging or disturbing the soil however the surface of our area is not even some of it are really higher than the others so we don't have other option but to have somebody to mechanically dug it for us. We also had problem sourcing a good compost because uh, it was really difficult here in Slovakia to find a company that you can trust that sells you a really good and clean compost. We were worried that we will buy a compost full of nasty stuff in there and we will bring it to our untouched soil. Our main goal was to keep our soil as chemical free as possible. So far, with all the weeds that we have been battling, we have managed to keep it chemical free. Once the soil was turned upside down already, now it's time for us to clean it from all the weeds, especially the couch grass, that are so many of them, they're so resilient and they grow so fast. Slowly, we started adding some of our favorite berries like gooseberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and many, many more.
added a lot of new trees like hazelnut, we have apple, plums, cherries, peaches, and apricots. We knew we're gonna have to wait for more years till we can harvest from them, but that's okay because that is what gardening teaches you. It teaches you patience that whatever you invest right now, you will have something to harvest in the future. We also finished a couple of beds already where we planted out our baby plants and herbs. We actually have two raised beds that we made from the old window frames that we had when we have to change our windows of the house.
One month later, here we are. We have a lot of leafy green vegetables and salads that we can pick and eat anytime fresh. Gardening doesn't just give you joy, but it gives you abundance. It is something that you know that when you work hard, you will be rewarded in the end. How many things in life that you have put so much effort into but still didn't get anything in return? But with nature, it's so much different. You give it a little bit of love and tenderness and it gives you so much more in return. Our garden has still a long way to go. But the journey of creating it gives us so much joy, peace, and contentment in our life right now. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you again in my next garden update here in Slovakia. Bye!